the Muslim Jihadist Liberation Jihad Branch here in Kuala. And quite eventful uh, because much of the doubts that lay around uh, the Social Health Authority and the Social Health Insurance Fund, really, uh, President William Ruto has dealt with it um, quite openly. So, and being frank, Kenyans really need to be patient. Anne Buru joins us and, of course, has more regarding the good news about SHIF. Uh, the president has really told uh, Kenyans to be patient and understand that uh, this is all a transition and it is going to be a bit slow for the National, uh, National Health Insurance Fund. They already have debts, with the gov uh, they have debts in hospitals and we've seen that the, uh, the president has made it clear that they will be paying the debts from next week, that is 3 billion shillings. For the social, uh, for the national health insurance fund. So for the chief, the social health insurance fund, Kenya should just continue to remain patient, and everything will just flow uh, as it's supposed to flow. And we've also seen that he's talked about the affordable housing, the projects that have been ongoing, and he's also talked about the money that uh, the money that the suppliers are supposed to be given. Maybe you could also tell us more about the affordable housing. Actually, four billion shillings that are going to go towards the payment of suppliers. Uh, because the president says the affordable housing project does not only see, um, <clears throat> seek uh, to give dignity to uh, the people living in these houses, but most importantly, also seeks to provide employment opportunities for small businesses and enterprises. And the four billion shillings, therefore, is actually passed and dedicated towards the payment of the suppliers. You know, the people who supply cement, dough hinges, and whatever it is, that these four billion shillings is actually set aside for the sole purpose of payment uh, for these suppliers. But also the critical project of, you know, a subsidized fertilizer. Um, probably seeing what this year has brought in terms of yields for farmers. And the president says they're done with the process of procuring fertilizer. 2,000 shillings, uh, 2,500 shillings per bag, um, just as has been um, last time. But quite really, I've been an eventful day. I, I, people are expecting a lot of politics in this event. We also talked about uh, the absentee landlords. He made sure that uh, the government will also be setting aside 1.5 billion shillings for the absentee landlords so that we, do, we no longer have the squatter issues, especially in the coast region because it continues to be an emotive subject in this region yes there was a lot of expectation really yeah. that much of it would go to politics because of what is happening in the country but the president really avoided the whole conversation around the replacement of deputy president uh, but then again if you were to listen keenly there were a few pointers towards what transpired uh, particularly when he says that any formula that seeks to alienate any part or people of Kenya, uh, then is a repugnant. And actually, that's a very strong word. When you say a repugnant, it means it should be abhorred completely. And therefore, then that you would say was a direct response uh, to some of the issues that the deputy president or the is it former? Is it outgoing? Um, <laughs> we are yet to know uh, the actual status, really, the legal status of what it is now. Uh, but that is uh, what the president really um, has said here today. And of course, that also includes the promise of a blue economy and particularly the opportunities it presents uh, to the coastal people, be it Mombasa County, Kwale, uh, Kilifi, Tanariva, Lamu, all those counties and the opportunities uh, the blue economy uh, really uh, presents. But I'm sure you enjoyed the cultural performance. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> it was superb. People enjoyed themselves. The, the entertainment was just top notch. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy myself. I hope you did too. Enjoy. Well, I, well, I did. I enjoyed myself. It was quite an eventful one. And of course, we will be bringing you uh, updated broadcasts in terms of what has transpired here um, and more analysis uh, moving forward. But from this end, I think we need to wrap it up and hand it over uh, to Broadcasting House for the continuation of the rest of the program. But of course, in our 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. bulletins, we'll be giving you uh, updated and deeper stories regarding what has transpired here at the Mashijadi celebrations in Kuala County, of course, region. From Anboro and myself, is a goodbye and happy Mashijadi. Tunaposherekea sikukuu ya mashujaa
siku ya kuwaenzi mashujaa wa Kenya hatuwasherekei tu viongozi mashuhuri wa taifa letu bali pia tunawatambua pia mashujaa wa kaunti ya Kwale. Kaunti ya Kwale na mandhari mazuri na historia ya kipekee. Ni nyumbani kwa watu wanaochangia maendeleo na uthabiti wa Kenya pamoja na kuendeleza torathi za kitamaduni. Natukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha wa Kenya wote na wakole wote kuja kusherekea mashujaa uh, tarehe ishirini mwezi wa kumi katika uwanja wa, uh, wa michezo wa Kwale Stadium. Kaunti ya Kwale ni kitovu kikuu cha utalii na inajivunia fuo safi, hoteli za kifahari, hifadhi za baharini, mbuga za wanyamapori na inajivunia pia maeneo mapya ya kitalii na rasilimali nyingi za kitamaduni zinazoibuka. Kwale is a very peaceful county. Uh, security iko juu na viongozi wote wanafanya kazi kwa karibu na bado kaunti ya Kwale iko open for investment. Huku tamaduni ndio kwao. Sisi wenyewe kama wa Kwale kauli mbi yetu watu tunasema utamaduni wetu utajiri wetu. Maendeleo katika Kwale county yenye nikitembea ni zayaona ni kama barabara upande wa michezo kuna viwanja vinye vimejengwa vinye sasa hivi rekebishwa zilikuwa vibaya lakini sasa hivi vimerekebishwa tunashukuru sana kwa watu wengi walikuwa wanatamani kuiona kama kwa le account kuna soko naona watu wengi wanamiminika kuja kutupromote hapa mfuo wa diani ambao ni kivutio kikuu cha watalii umepigiwa debe kama eneo bora la utalii kwa miaka saba mfululizo barani Afrika na hivyo kuchochea biashara katika sehemu hiyo na kutoa ajira kwa maelfu ya wakazi. E, uvuvi ndio unaweka hata watalii pia waje kwa wingi kwa sababu wakija hapa wanapata samaki wale fresh. Katika sekta hii ya utalii, wakazi wa Kwale ni mashujaa kwani wanahakikisha kuwa watalii na wageni wanafurahia ukarimu wa Wakenya. Why here? It's a nice beach, nice blue sea. Uh, most of the people are nice. Urithi wa utamaduni wa kaunti ya Kwale umeunganishwa kwa kina na misitu ya kaya ambayo ni takatifu kwa jamii wa Mijikenda. Mashujaa wa utamaduni wa Kwale wanajumuisha wahifadhi wa misitu ya kaya ambayo ilitambuliwa na shirika la umoja wa mataifa la UNESCO. Mashujaa hawa wamejitolea mohanga kuhifadhi mila, tamaduni na maeneo takatifu. Tunataka tusimame kidete sisi wananchi tuone kwamba sehemu zetu ambazo ilikuwa tukitambikia sehemu hizo ziwe ziko pleni zimeachwa wazi wenyewe tuweze kutumikia kwa sababu zile ilikuwa ndiyo nguzo yetu ya kupinga maradhi ustawi wa kiuchumi wa kaunti hii ya Kwale unatambua mashujaa ambao hawajatambuliwa wakiwemo wakulima wachimbaji madini na wajasiria mali wanaofanya kazi kwa bidii kila siku kuchangia uchumi wa Kenya Tunaposherehekea siku kuu ya mashujaa tunawapa saluti ya heshima mashujaa wa Kwale ambao wamesimama imara na kuendeleza mwenge wa ushujaa ustahimilivu na matumaini. Kiwa wewe kazi yako ni kupiga viatu rangi, kiwa wewe kazi yako ni kulima, chochote unachofanya pale popote pale ulipo. Heshima kuwa ujisikie wewe ni shujaa. Kwa kazi yako unayofanya, huduma yako unafanyia nchi yetu ya Kenya, wewe ni shujaa. Ajeni masikaribuni pale ndare we mbingi sejaji